back to another venture. Super excited today because I'm in a new kayak. Just saw a bald eagle. That was pretty cool. Maybe it'll bring me some good luck. Anyways, squirrel, sorry. Now, technically, it's not brand new. It's one of those barn finds, and uh, he had a super cheap price on there. I was like one to 50. I just happened to jump on it first. He's like, yeah, just come and get it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I paid literally nothing for this kayak. And what's great about it is this was my original kayak I started fishing out of. This Old Town Vapor, a 10-foot kayak, angler edition. But anyways, uh, we just got a few hours of fish. Uh, um, I'm fishing after work today, so the sun is going to be setting soon. So we got to get rolling, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll find some and uh, kind of walk you through this setup as we go. But anyways, we're going to get downstream, hopefully hook into a few bass today. Uh, we got this... Uh peanut butter and jelly jades jig i've never thrown one of these before they just look so good and this uh, i think it's something whiskers it's got the double whiskers just keep it weedless and uh so anyways we're gonna give this a try we're gonna put a little uh z-man creature bait for the trailer now what i'm doing here is one of the best knots for a lot of fishing applications but uh what we did there was uh we put our line through the eye then ran that line back through the opposite direction where I have a loop on one side and then my tag and my uh, rest of my line on the other side. And this knot is called the polymer knot. Like you're tying your shoe, we're just gonna do a standard overhand knot. Pull that loop through. So now we have this loop. We have our knot right there around my index finger and then we have our tag and our normal line right here so now we're going to take that um, bait that jig and run it through that loop we're going to wet it real good and just slowly singe that down on that eye there so now what we did we made this knot double the strength we have two lines running through the eye versus just one standard line making this knot extra durable so I'm gonna clip off our tag there and there we go I'm gonna go ahead and pair it up with this z-man creature bait it's just a little chunk can't remember what the name of this is called but hopefully this bait will get the fish fired up a little bit so compact look how juicy that looks all right I'm gonna give this a shot on our little uh, finesse setup here There's a fish. He's on. He's on. Stay on, baby. Stay on. Don't get in that brush. Oh, gosh. He's right there where he's supposed to be. Come here. Oh, yeah. First fish of the day came on the Jade's jig. I just knew those were going to be good. I'm testing them out today because I'm planning on a... Uh, small mouth trip here soon just a nice little spot here just beautiful fish we'll go ahead and let it go i just spook the other fish right here anyways he was sitting right here where my kayak was right behind this uh, brush pile here just kind of ambush and prey as they swim by this little swift water section here There's a fish. Oh, it feels like a good one. Another one on that Jade's jig. Kill me, baby. Got him. <laughs> he put on a good show, though. Let's go ahead and pop him out of this real quick. Oh, yeah. Another, uh, he's probably about 11 to 12. Bad little guy gave us a good show. Man, I'm liking this jig. Shout out to Jade's jigs. These are money. Oh, there's a bite right there. I think he's on. Yep, he's on. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Hey, smoke it. Oh, stay on, baby. Nice one. He thumped it. Stay on, baby. 
Stay on, baby. Stay on, baby. Come on. Come on, stay on. Stay on. I'd like to touch you. I'd like to touch you. Golly. Look at that baby right there. <laughs> That's what it's all about right there. That's a two. Easily. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, I had him pretty good. He was probably going to get off any moment, though. 15, maybe 16 inches. I didn't bring a ruler with me. Beautiful largemouth. Smoke Jade's jig there. Oh. <laughs> That is sweet. Thanks, bud. There he goes. Oh, oh yeah. This kayak really takes me back. <laughs> I think I own this kayak or uh, one similar to it in 2016. I think that's when I bought my first kayak ever. And uh, man, it's just a really great little riverboat, creek boat, a little lightweight. My only complaint about it then and still today is the seat it's just not very comfortable of course i went ahead and threw a kayak cushion on here because i knew that was a problem before it's just so lightweight easy to maneuver easy to sneak on fish but man my paddle is just like rolling on these ridges and just making a lot of noise so i gotta put maybe some neoprene sleeves on here where basically the paddle is going to rest the whole time that way it'll kind of deaden that sound a little bit because i'm sure some of these bigger fish are going to hear it look at this hole right here this looks really good i don't spook anything but anyways we've been uh, rolling with this jade's jig the whole time it's been putting fish in the boat caught that nice two and a couple oh there's this he's on oh my drag's messed up my drag is messed up. He's on. He's fighting pretty good. He might take me in that brush pile there. Stay out of there. This little bass. Oh man, he's taking me in there. He's taking me in there. Oh, that's a good one. That is another good one. That is another good one. Oh, look at that baby right there. Oh my goodness. Look at that beautiful fish. Ooh. I was afraid he's going to get me in that, uh, brush pile there and get off probably another maybe this one's just shy of two pounds another 14 15 maybe he might go too he's got a thick belly you can tell they're feeding up for the winter <laughs> thank you well i just grabbed a log or rock or something and it broke me off but I'll go ahead and get another one just stocked up on these uh, jigs for a trip here soon and uh, i also got this uh, orange color here but there's no weed guard i got some with weed guards and some without but man i wish i'd if i break off one more i don't want to put another one on because i only have three left after this i ordered five of those and these are the eighth of an ounce really really tiny these are quarter ounces so i don't have many left i don't want to burn through them here i'm gonna tie one more on if I break off this one, I think I'll just uh, call the day on those and save them for the smallmouth trip because they are juicy. Fish. Yep. Another fish. He's fighting good. He's fighting good. Stay on, baby. Stay on. He's taking me for a... He's not big. <laughs> he put up a good fight there. Got him. He's not big at all. But he was dogging me in that current. I thought he was a mondo. Alright. Caught him on the Jade's jig. Just uh, another 10. There's a fish. I was wondering when I was going to get a green sunfish, huh? He's just pecking at it, pecking at it. I tried to shake him off, but he wanted it too bad, so we went ahead and played with him. There's the fish. Yep, yep. He's on. He's on. This is not a green sunfish this time. Man, he's putting on a show. Putting on a show. Come here, little guy. Ah, another spot. 
just want the jig today. That water's cold, like I said, it's about 50, 60 degrees. And uh, you can't ever go wrong with the jig, especially a finesse jig. Fish. Yep, another fish. He was in the middle. Probably another 10, 12. Not a Mondo, but. He was just out in the middle there off this tree here. Oh, he's not as bad. It's a large mouth, I believe. I haven't got a good look at him yet. No, oh, it's a spot. Man, he choked that. He choked that jig. <laughs> he's out in the middle playing around looking for some goodies. Boy, did he find one right there. There we go. This one's a healthy spot right there. Probably about 13, getting close to 14. But this is just a 6'6", six, six, medium light setup. Um, eight pound line, really inexpensive rod, just great for line applications. I think I've wrapped my tip or something. I'll have to figure out what's going on here. Let's see if there's another one out in the middle here. He's just right in the middle there underneath this tree that's hanging. Still haven't got to my spot yet where I caught a near four pound. There's another fish. He's on. He's a little guy. He just picked it up and swim with it. Man, they are loaded in this little spot here in the creek must be a deep hole here come here little guy another spot on jade's jig here just wearing them out today on it he's about 10 maybe 11 oh right there by the boat there's Chase. I'm gonna have to tie that uh, willow blade on. I can get it right by the boat. Another crazy catch. Well, we have reached our end. Some shallow shoals here, and it's about 100 yards, and it's about four o'clock. I don't really have enough time to get to the next hole. So we're gonna go ahead and turn around and head back upstream. But anyways, I'm gonna walk you through the Old Town Vapor. This was the OG for me. This was the uh, first kayak I started out with. So really, really great um, boat, especially for starters. And if you don't want to uh, drop, you know, $1,500, even $1,000, this would be a great starter boat. It is a sit-in, which there is some negatives with that. But like I said, it's super stable. You just got to sponge it out occasionally. And you got to sit in it properly. You can't just kind of plop your butt in there first and swing your legs in. There is a little bit more finesse when you get in a sit-in kayak versus a sit on top. But anyways, I'm going to walk you through it real quick. Then we're going to paddle back upstream. Maybe hit a tree here and there. But main objective is to paddle a mile back up and uh, get loaded up. So here she is. This is a 10-foot, I believe it's 30 inches wide. This is the Old Town Vapor 10 Angler. It's got two flush mount rod holders and like i was saying earlier you know just how they v out is not very great i definitely want to uh, pop those rivets and twist them that way they're more straight behind me versus out to the sides it'll make casting a lot easier and setting the hook kind of got in my way a couple times a day probably missed the fish because of it but Another negative about this is just a tank well. There's not a lot of space. You can't really put a kayak crate in there or anything like that. But, you know, for a beginner, all you need is a couple of tackle boxes, maybe just a big grab bag like that full of baits and maybe a, some terminal tackle, and that's it. That's all you really need. So it's a perfect amount of space for maybe a lunch and a small little tackle bag. But uh, this was the main region I didn't uh, keep the boat was this seat right here. I mean, sitting on that all day definitely gets old. So, but I went ahead and put a kayak cushion on there. Definitely makes a huge difference. And I do need to uh, maybe get that kayak cushion lumbar support, maybe strap across here. And that way I can have a little extra cushion on the back as well. But very, very comfortable. Like I was saying earlier, this is an open cockpit design. So I got plenty of leg room. 
Uh, I don't feel cramped up or anything like that. So at the front, it does have a little dashboard and a cup holder. Then it does come with this uh, half anchor trolley. And the first thing I would do is uh, undo that cord, cut that cord out, then run a uh, pad eye all the way up to the nose and just extend that paracord. That way you can work an anchor for the full length of the boat versus just half of it. Other than that, I mean, just for a throw and go, super light, I think it's around 50 pounds or less. I can uh, carry it on my back real easy. Uh, it's nothing like the Crescent Shoaly or any bigger kayak where it's definitely a two person job in some cases. I think we're gonna go ahead and head back upstream and uh, maybe toss out a tree or two. Well, hope you enjoyed today's fishing mission. I sure did, especially in old Betsy here. Um, but yeah, if I was in the big kayak, it'd be very, very challenging to work any of this, much long get back upstream. So, uh, but we made it. We did smash the rock pretty hard. Hopefully it uh, didn't cause too much damage on the hole there. But other than that, I had a great time. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next adventure.